Welcome, Bear fans, to the BearCast. This is our pregame show for week four as the Bears will host Cascade on Friday night. And uh, Jason, what do you know about Cascade? They like to throw the ball, Mike. 157 offensive plays, 99 of them have been passes. 43 out of 99 this quarterback is, which puts him 43 and 99 are both top 10 completions and attempts in the entire state of Iowa. He's in the top 10 of quarterbacks. So our defensive backs are going <laughs> to get a, get a workout, and uh, we're going to see how our pass rush goes. But given that we had, what, three interceptions last Friday, um, one return for a touchdown, and I thought our defensive front wore down Columbus Catholic. Um, this is not a big Cascade team by any means. And you're right. That was the that was the key last week towards the end of the game. You could see the Bears, obviously, with a little momentum, you get a little pep in your step, but you're looking over on the other side and guys are hands on their waist and bending down to the ground and, and you just could see the air kind of taken away. And then Logan Wright kind of took care of it from there. But yeah, the size kind of wears on people after a while. That, as we've said every week, Matt and I and you and I, that is... That's going to be an advantage for West Branch most every time they take the field. Well, and, you know, the Bears had to play four quarters, you know, all, all three games, you know. Uh, Columbus didn't have to play four quarters or first two games. So when that fourth quarter came around, you could just see the Bears really, really wearing on those guys. And they had a couple of key players go down with uh, cramps. And you would hope that by the third week of the season, that Mike, that you have that those things kind of start to – to go away but you know when adrenaline starts flowing that can help help you know elevate cramping issues and it's, it's a shame for a guy like Mason Knipp who yeah. we saw last week is maybe the best defensive player arguably the best defensive yeah. player yeah we'll and say I think we saw tonight. one of the best wide receivers yeah pretty solid uh, player Miles Gardner six so. foot four it's pretty tough with yeah. that with that package so. so the Bears for this week obviously the coaching staff did a phenomenal job getting that team to play well you know, last Friday night. Got to get them refocused again because you can't afford to overlook anybody, especially when it comes to a district game. And a home game. So that's that's a big deal because they're coming back to the little Rose Bowl and hoping that, you know what, last the last time we were here, it didn't. It was a tough, slow-scoring game and West Branch didn't come out on top. Now it's the first game at the district. Brand new season. It's a brand new season, this district season, and they hope to get it started off the right way. And military appreciation night sure brings a lot more emotions and just fire for the game. Yeah, and, and it's without a doubt one of the best nights of the yeah. year, um, thanks to Dave McGrath and all he does to line up the the jumpers and the flags and, uh, you know, the veterans walking down at the end of the first quarter. It's just really, and hopefully the Cascade people will will join in, the students with the flags and the veterans, because uh, we sure like showing that off. But, uh, yeah, it, it's just important for the Bears going into this district now. To, they got to win the games they're supposed to win, and this is easily one of them that they they should win. But a lot of new faces, and now we got a mixture. Some guys coming back in, and I think what you saw last week at practice, it was just it was a different thing. You saw it wasn't there was never panic. It was just okay, next man in, next man in. It's like that Iowa Hawkeye philosophy, and it really came to fruition last week. And now. You've built, you've got a game against a ranked team you win, Mike, and they've got five more guys jumping in against a Cascade team who, who is 0-3, has got a couple of games to where they didn't, they probably were a little bit, got beaten by a little bit more than they wanted to get beat by. But Will Hosh is still going to throw it around, and if West Branch wants to get a test, not looking too much forward, but as they get forward to a team like, a, say, a Regina, who's also going to throw it all over the yard, this is going to be a great test not for them going forward. Yeah. And last week really helped us develop some depth. Yes. We saw some guys come off the bench that we hadn't seen all year long yeah. and and how helpful that was. Aaron Marsh being one carried the ball and some very key carries. West Branch might be the only team in the state that's a dual th a team that throws and passes that has five kids that have had at least 15 carries. Not many teams in the state can say that, but they also have thrown the ball, you know, 60 or 55 times. So, uh, it, to develop that depth, not just there and up front with Cole Crossweight. Tate France has got some action up front. Seven kids, Mike. That's You can't say that and very often. And moving Reese back to center. Yes. Reese oh, what a key. Yeah. 
He's been. He was there last year, and as you well know, he was a, he was he was the key cog in the middle, not just as the center, but he's just a great leader on the field. Yeah, and that made a huge difference. Yeah. So, yeah, looking forward to a great game Friday night. Hope everybody in the area comes on out. Uh, it's going to be a Veterans Appreciation Night, and the Bears versus uh, Cascade starting at seven seven o'clock. So, for Jason Miller, Mike Quinlan, and the Bearcast, go Bears.